I love whoopee cushions. I have a skirt that's like pink suede, and every time I wear it, Aaron t calls it my whoopee cushion skirt. It looks so good. It and just makes you want to go squeeze it and just. Uh. You should tape a whoopee cushion to your butt next time you wear it, and then like <laughs> go out to like a nice restaurant and then just like sit down on it. <laughs> Fart? uh -huh. Farts are one of those things that's like universally funny. It's like probably one of the first things you laugh at as a little kid, and then like even as an adult or as an old person, you're still laughing at farts. I, I, I feel like there's very few things in the world that universal that are universally funny from the time you start life to the time you end life. Did anyone ever blame a fart on you growing up as a kid? I don't know. I don't think so. No, have, no traumatic experience. I have a traumatic experience, and I don't know if I've told this on the podcast before, but we were in a school assembly, and it was during a moment of silence. Mm, yes. For like, you know, it was like Veterans Day or something like that. And there was a kid in front of me who was like the most disgusting, annoying kid in school. He rips a huge one, and he does this thing where he turns back at me and goes, ew. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> but I obviously like couldn't say anything because we were in a moment of silence. Ooh. But then everyone was looking at me. <laughs> I remember that for the really rest of my life. And farted, right? Yeah, exactly. I remember I had a, a big uh, a bully uh, no. in some school, and uh, he was a pretty big guy, and there wasn't much I could do. But there was one point where it was just like me, him, and someone else, and I was let one completely silent, and he was like a really big guy. I just remember thinking, who are they gonna think did this? <laughs> it was that was my that was my uh, I got him. How, how bad did, to the man? How bad did they beat you up after that? Yeah, <laughs> um, I don't remember. He just looked off to the side. Yeah. Anyway, what's next? Uh, the, the best place to fart is on a plane because no one knows who did it. That's bullshit. It's also stinky as fuck already on a plane. <laughs> exactly. So knows. Just kind of blends. You know in. what the opposite to that is? Farting on a Greyhound bus because everyone thinks it's probably them. <laughs> just, everyone's just sitting there and farting the whole way and so if they smell another fart they're like maybe it was me and then they just keep going they don't care scratch their belly a little bit i've ridden on a greyhound twice and it was just it's just a transportation machine for farts that's all it is you, you buy a ticket to transport your fart from like houston to dallas or from austin to houston or wherever like well those seats also are probably very absorbent they're extremely the absorbent they're more absorbent than a bentley or whatever other than, than supple calf leather yeah I, I almost took a bus to Mexico 